What's going on guys? It's your girl Big P here. I'm Tati. And we are the main Oz. You dig? Today we're going to be doing a life update slash Q&A. Answering some of the questions that we ask you guys to submit on our Instagram pages if you're following us there. I got a few picked out. Baby's got a few picked out. And we're going to dive right into these questions because things are always changing. And as things are changing and as we evolve, we'd like to, you know, respectfully update you guys on a few things. So, of course. That's what we're going to do. The first question is, how are you guys doing post your COVID battle? Woo! I think that was a really good question to start off with. That's a good question. That's um, I would say we definitely came out of COVID wanting to go harder yeah um we were more motivated because during covid like we was down for like a week um and obviously we post a lot for you guys um so i would say it definitely made us more motivated to go harder because when we had covid we couldn't do nothing and we was literally crying because yeah. we were so it's so annoying when you're sick and you literally all you want to do is film all you want to do is make content and we couldn't do that so I definitely say we came out of COVID 10 times stronger <laughs> and 10 times more motivated. I think for me, I, I second all of that that you said because we got we got COVID at VidCon. So going to VidCon, we were super motivated. Um, we got a lot of inspiration. We got a lot of energy from VidCon mm -hmm. and then boom, like we weren't able to transmit that energy over to the channel because we got sick right away and we had to sit down. So like obviously we've, fully recovered now it was i think it was a it was a tough like two to three weeks it was just four days of straight in bed mm -hmm. but like the whole recovery process uh from losing our smell to losing our taste oh yeah was, that was, was difficult whole... that was <laughs> difficult but um we're just grateful that we made it through because it was it was pretty tough it was tough it was pretty tough and now that that's out the way like we're fully focused on you know what we're doing what we're handling creating great videos for you guys um, and just creating great content all around the board. So, you know, for me too, I have a different level of appreciation just for life. Like I already appreciate it. Like, no, seriously, because you feel like you're literally yeah, like on your deathbed. It's tough. It's, it's really bad. Like I appreciate the small things, like just waking up in the morning and having an appetite, being able to taste my food, like yes, move freely, smell. feeling good. So just like, you know, never take life for granted. No, of course. So. Give them my, my <laughs> some for them. Okay, what is your tip for couples to get through hard times? This is a really good one. I would say the first thing that comes to my mind is creating healthy space and healthy boundaries within, within your relationship. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important and very crucial that you create a space for yourself to grow and elevate individually and also a space for your partner to grow and elevate individually as well. When, it, when you guys say hard times, like we don't, we don't really have like hard times with each other. Like we don't, we don't really fight. We don't really argue and things like that. Any sort of like hard times for us is just like us dealing with our own moods and and things like yeah. that. You know what I mean? <laughs> sometimes I we call it trips. Like sometimes I just be I have two two days, two three days where I'm down in the dumps. You know what I mean? And it's not because anything baby has done but more so about me and my energy and, and me feeling stagnant in certain ways. And of course that can be reflected upon anybody that you're dealing with. So it's very important to know, to be responsible for yourself, what you're bringing to the table and what you're adding to the environment and just checking yourself at the door really. And being able to say, yeah. today I need some space. Today I might need some time. Today I might need to be alone so I could refill my cup and things of that sort. If you know your partner, you also know what they need and what they want. And sometimes we might just need a little extra love. Maybe I just need a little extra love, you know, a little <laughs> extra tenderness from you. Aww. Sometimes you might need a little extra love and tenderness <laughs> from me. But um, I think at the forefront, it's very important that you build that sort of foundation. You can't really have that overnight. Like you got to kind of build that. And that's something we've been building. We hit our three year marriage mark in, uh, next month. So we've been building that foundation for quite some time, you know. What yeah, I'm saying? and now when we, we look come. back at our when we look back at our relationship and our marriage, it's like wow. Like sometimes we look back and like, damn, how did we really get through that? But yeah, because like we did it, you know. Yeah, because and especially if you're new here, like we met online, spoke online for a couple weeks. Baby came to see me, and then you know we just got married. So like. Not only did we get married, 
but you know we started creating content together and it's like we got on youtube we didn't have really time to have that relationship where you get yeah. you spend time getting to know one another we just jumped straight jumped into, right it, into it jumped straight into our career and then like we had those growing pains where it kind of we felt it we felt that okay we didn't really get to know each other too too much yeah. like it didn't, it didn't mean that we loved each other any less, but we had to take that time to get to know each other way more than we did. Absolutely, and while we while we were going through those growing pains, there's a, there's a lot of growing pains that we went through that you guys would never have seen on camera, yeah. of course, because <laughs> um, one of my biggest philosophies is in a relationship is that you protect it. Just like you protect your own energy, you have to protect the energy of your relationship. You can't mm -hmm. have any third party um, having a hand or an opinion on your relationship yeah. and that's something that we were very mindful of from mm -hmm. the get-go So any issues that we had within our relationship, you know, it would I mean, just be us. It's just between the two yeah. of us to fix it. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're just gonna answer this question. Thoughts, plans for parenthood? No pressure, just asking. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure? We feel all of the pressure. But obviously really, really, really excited to have a baby and... Very, very much so. And we told you guys already that a year or two ago, we went to actually go start the process and stuff, but we then shortly realized that this wasn't our time yet. Like, yeah. we're gonna know when we're ready. It's not, not, it's not, not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely gonna happen, but we were so focused on building Building our brand and building our individual brands and whatnot. Right now, it's just like hustle time. It's just really grind time for us. Um, but baby for run though, and I like baby for run. <laughs> you know what I mean? God's blessing. Hopefully next year. That's what I'm gonna say. Cause yeah, we it's it's definitely something that we we want to. And we will through. take you guys through the journey, journey, the whole process, yeah. because yeah. when we actually did go to like oh. see what the process oh. was. No, no. They're trying to no film. Well, you no you growling at the door, you're trying to film. Yeah, when we went to go and check the process and see, you know, how it works and stuff like that, like the process does take a long time. It's, it's well. not just like it's an intricate ooh, process. A walk in the park, but it's a beautiful process. Yeah. So basically what we're talking about, I don't even know what it's called, IVF or No. I, um, I forgot what it's called, but basically what we'd be doing. What, what is it called? Damn. What we would be doing is taking my eggs, putting them in tea getting a sperm donor and having our first child that way. So that is how we intend to do it. Because I have a lot of questions saying, are you guys going to adopt? Are you guys going to get a surrogate? No, we're going to attempt to have a baby on our own. Of course, with a, a wonderful doctor's help, whoever they are. So that we met with um, the last yeah. time, we absolutely loved them. We were most probably going to do it with them yeah. in, in California because they were just she was a phenomenal so amazing. Yeah. She had good vibes. Good vibes, and that's what we want, good vibes. Oh, 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 hey, it's lit. Do you feel like leaving corporate changed the dynamics in your marriage? 1,000%. Oh, yeah. I will take this one. Ah! This is this is geared towards me, 100%, because I worked a corporate job where I worked almost six days a week sometimes. I worked anywhere from eight to 10 to 12 hour days. It was a sales job, so it was a very, it was a very high demanding job, which means I didn't really have a lot of time at home. And when I was at home, we was filming, we was editing, so we didn't really. Well, you were sleeping because you were tired from <laughs> literally working overtime or so yeah. many hours. And it just working, working a high stress job, like you bring that stress home, like you bring that stress home, no matter. And everything is about like everything is about work. If somebody make you mad at work, if you having a shitty month, if a, a customer piss you off, like that energy kind of stays with you. So that's what I've found. And, and of course, I'm, I'm very thankful for the job that I had and all that good stuff, but walking away from it just, just feels and felt like absolute freedom. You know what I mean? I was able to grow individually. I was able to be more happy. I was able to heal certain things about myself that I needed to heal with just having that time freedom. So really that's probably one of the best things that could have happened to our relationship, to our marriage. So, it, you know, it started with me and then it of course trickled over to, to everything. So definitely had, this has been like the best year. <laughs> It's very, very tough, especially like once COVID hit and all that, like it was just, it was just a tough, it was just tough on the mind, body and spirit. I'll, I'll just say that. Who do we, who do we want to collaborate with? It's just one of those things, man. It's, it's one of those things where you just, you just kind of protect the energy of the things that you are manifesting. But we definitely, we know exactly who we want to work with and when the time is right and you know, the relationship is built the right way, mm -hmm. hopefully it'll come together to transpire, you know. Um, 
and that's that. Yeah, because when we when we when we go to collaborate with somebody, we want to genuinely be like good friends with those people, yeah. like instead of just like okay, hi, like we're we're the main ours and you're you whoever you yeah. are, and we're just gonna make a video, and there's no kind of like chemistry. Yeah. Like I think that it's very important for there to be some type of chemistry, especially for camera. Yeah, um, like, so we don't want to just go working with anybody and anybody for just because. We're and that's why we haven't collabed out. as of yet. <laughs> yeah, and we like you guys don't see us hanging around a bunch of people. You don't see us with a bunch of people like we are. We're very, very, very protective of our space and of our energy. So when. <laughs> <laughs> No, but <laughs> yeah, we're very protective of our space and our energy. So when that time comes to let let somebody in, you know, it's just gotta be the right. It's gotta be the right vibe. It's gotta be the right alignment. And it's just gotta. It's just gotta be. It's gotta be lit. It's gotta be up. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, yeah. But we know. We know who who we want to clear with. We. Yeah, man. <laughs> How are you mentally with your? professional life as well as personal. How's the mental? How the mental going, boo? Have we all have our days. Yeah. Um we we ground ourselves. We always, you know, go and ground ourselves. We spend our time in nature and stuff, so that's the time for us to get our mental right. My mental is good. Um it's good. I think I'm in a good mental space, but it doesn't like your mental is something you just constantly have to work at. Like maybe say you we have our days, there's some days, and actually today, today has been a wild day of emotions, you know what I mean? I think it's just important to, to pay attention to yourself, pay attention to how you're feeling, pay attention to your thoughts, and also get that, get that out, like, in a healthy manner, such as journaling, you know what I'm saying? I think it's just very important that you recognize how you're feeling on a daily basis, but I would say that we have strong mentals because we have very strong foundations, but that doesn't mean that it's perfect or that that doesn't mean that it can't get stronger or it can't get better. That's what life is all about. Life is about getting better and better with time, you know what I mean? So it's always a work in process. It's always something to be nurtured and it's always something that we wanna we wanna just cater to in a sense, you feel yeah. I me? Mean? So but mental's good though. We in a we in a good place. We ain't we ain't hurting or struggling or stressing for nothing, but we do like because of our goals and our dreams, there's a lot that weighs on us and it's all about yeah, we put a lot of pressure on ourselves yeah. because we know who, where we're going and where we're going to be and who we're going to be so yeah. um i we have to it's not anybody else putting pressure on us it's exactly. genuinely just us putting pressure on us to be better and do better every day you just like you, you you're working for yourself and you don't have like a boss you don't have like a team it's just we're a two-man show you know what i mean so it's like there is nobody to tell us you need to do that you need to do this mm -hmm. hold yourself accountable so it's just like within ourselves and each other. Yeah, it's just us <laughs> holding us accountable and that's yeah. all we can really do. <laughs> Next question is, do you guys miss Cali? I kind of miss Cali. Like, <laughs> this is the first time I've heard this. Go ahead, I wanna hear. <laughs> no, I kind of miss Cali because obviously we used to go to the beach a lot. Um, that was kind of like our place to kind of clear your head mm -hmm. and whatnot. There's no beaches around here. <laughs> There's no, I mean, we got, went to a lake the other day, and even then, it's like it's really hot, so you can't really be outside for too long. Mm -hmm. Definitely saying this, Cali, because I miss the beaches. I miss. I miss. I kind of miss being high up in our apartment, but what? I don't. But I don't like. I wouldn't change yeah. where. Like I. Obviously, I have those days where you know I miss miss it, but not like oh I miss it. I want to yeah. go back, and you know what I mean. But you know, because I we still have like I have so much content on my phone where we use the sunsets from our apartment yeah. and stuff. But I definitely don't miss it. Miss it like oh my god, I need to go back. Uh, and my and my hairdresser's there. Like my hairdresser. My hairdresser there too. That's what I miss too. Yeah. I miss having my hair lady and you know my normal nail lady and stuff like yeah. that like just the small things We're, and those those elements all come with relocating you know what i mean like your barber your hairstylist your nail technician you know what i mean <laughs> your food spots like yeah. your hangout spot all of that stuff i think we i miss like you said i definitely miss the water that's probably the biggest thing that mm. i miss is just the water and um just having our food spots because we haven't really found like we no, have not food here found is not good. food spots. 
that like measure up to San Diego whatsoever. Well, you found a Chinese place that you're oh, in love yeah. with. Yeah, that's a cool spot, but that's not a place you can go sit down and eat. Yeah. And that's also not something I can eat often because that, that Chinese food just mess you well, up. One thing about Cali is they have aesthetic spots, like really yeah, nice yeah. food spots. Even even a coffee shop, like if we want to just, go like, we like to kind of take our work, like if we have to do editing or whatever the case may be, we like to go out and do that. You know what I mean? Whether that's just admin time where we got to respond to emails. It's really nice to be able to put yourself in another environment, like a really dope coffee shop. Where yeah. You, you know what I mean? Like you can get your ideas flowing and you can get in motion. Haven't really found much of that where we currently are, but it's all a part of the process. You know what I mean? So, but the water, I miss the water. The but ultimately water. I don't miss San Diego. I, I, fucks, I fucks with AC. Cool. I love AZ. AZ cool. San Diego is too busy. Too too much. Ugh, too much going on. <laughs> too, much, too much going on. What are you guys' love languages? My la love language is food, touch, touching, affection, cuddling, affection, affection, kisses, all of that. Affection. Thing. What's mine? Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation. Mm -hmm. Long talks. You like long talks. Yeah, I like to connect through conversation. Um, yours is like massage, like if I'm sitting rubbing her head like this, like she likes to be like cuddled up here, oh, yeah. like baby, yeah. and you rubbed on. Yeah, I'll probably be like, alright, we out. <laughs> so this question says, what's your biggest weight loss secret that works, which might be unconventional? Oh my god, I have so many. Oh my god. Um, well, let's what? just start with the first one that we ever tried to do was that one you, with, where you drink just the, the thing. Oh, the lemonade diet. The lemonade diet. Detox. I like that one. That's a little unconventional, but I think like super unconventional is the way you, th I think, I think, <laughs> this is, I don't know how to say this to where like it resonates, but I think the first thing that you need to get in check when you want to lose weight is your mindset. It's, 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 that's the first thing, like, if you want to lose weight, it's more than likely coming from a, a space of, I, I don't like my appearance, yeah. right? You need to flip it, and instead of trying to like lose weight or get healthy because you don't like your appearance, your mindset needs to be, I love my body so much that I want it to be healthy because I want it to feel like this. When I look in the mirror, I want to feel like this. You get what I'm saying? So you got to take care of your body from a mindset of love and not lack. And I think that's unconventional, but I think that's something that's never spoken about. It all starts right here. So once you have that mindset and it's not, I hate my body, but it's I love my body, you're going to figure out what you need to do to get yourself where you need to be. But just do it from a place of love. Like, be gentle with yourself. That's what I would say. You feel me? <laughs> and I think that's all we got because the camera about to die. <laughs> cool little update for you guys. Um, also want to let y'all know that we are on TikTok. Here's our TikTok down below. We're going to be getting jiggy on TikTok. So <laughs> make sure. That's so funny. It's what? because we literally like. We on TikTok with it, man. We, we on TikTok with it, man. Just come to the TikTok and see what's going on because it's going up. It's going to be lit over there. No, bro. we have been trying to get ourselves more on TikTok because yeah. we felt like TikTok wasn't. We wasn't giving TikTok any love. We were literally just love. giving like YouTube all the love. Like yeah. you guys get all the love. Yeah, we got we to spread a sprinkle of love. We got to sprinkle us everybody. out everywhere. So, yummy? Nami? Kiss, kiss. <laughs> mm. Love you, baby. I love you too. We love you guys. We'll catch y'all in the next video. You dig? Mwah!